Okay, very good morning, everyone. So today we shall proceed with our uh, lecture seven on project management. I'm so sorry because it's supposed to be uh, on last week for this uh, lecture seven, but uh, the coordinator uh, did not uh, include this topic in the MOOC. Okay, I will open the MOOC. So, uh, I decided myself to do this uh, topic on this week. So I just want to cover on this lecture. So when we talk about uh, this project management, okay, in this topic, uh, we want to uh, see how we can use a lot of uh, uh, online platform to do our business. Okay, For example, uh, this is uh, the slide from uh, MDEC. And that Malaysia Development Corporation, where some of the lecturers attended this course. Uh, the name of the course is Digital Entrepreneurship to Usahawan. So they share the slide with us, and most of the participants for this course, uh, they will introduce some of the online platform, digital commerce platform, or we can call it as digital commerce platform, right? So we have website, okay. These are the advantages why many of entrepreneurs in Malaysia doing website, okay, for their business. Uh, there are a number of advantages, okay. We can see that uh, first is the 24 hours operation when you do, uh, uh, or when you create the website is 24 hour operations. The people, the customer, uh, can can just search for your business, can look for the information uh, and to find the opportunities for 24-7. Okay. And then we can go to international market where you have your own website. Okay. And it's of communication. Definitely why we set up our website because to communicate everything that we use for technology uh, one of the advantages is for the communications, okay? For example, like web app meetings. Why we use web app meetings? Because we want to communicate with each other. Uh, instead of our normal class in the classroom, we also can do virtual or online class like this, where we use web app meetings, okay? So another thing is to update your information. You can always updating your information when you have website, for example, the product photos, the product information, what else, the testimonial, the comments, the feedbacks, everything is very useful for your business. And it is free. That's why we say cost effective, okay? Some of the software or apps uh, that we can use to develop our website is free. It's very cost effective. When you do virtual business, most important thing is to think about your cost. Okay, so it is very effective in your cost team. And to increase your credibility. Okay, why? Uh, the Credibility is very good for start sustainability. <clears throat> Sorry. And what is this remote control request? What should I do? Okay. Keep approved. I got this message from Shahira Ikhas, Ihasan. Okay. So increase credibility for business sustainability. Next, we go to the next. What is that? Let's see what happened to my slide. Stay on me, don't go anywhere. I'm trying to go to the next page. Let me see it's wrong. Oh, Shahira, are you controlling my, my, my apps? Is it because, okay. Let me see what happened. Because I cannot use this one. Okay, so. 
So that is affiliate marketing. This is how we call it as affiliate. Okay. When you open your or create your website, okay, it is called affiliate marketing. So when you register affiliate marketing, this is one of examples where you can use Lazada. And Lazada is one uh, example of affiliate marketing. Uh, you use this kind of uh, Lazada shop. To, to help you in, in, in order to help you uh, on selling your products okay, or your service, to give the information, to promote. Okay? So everyone, if you are interested, you can use this uh, affiliate marketing like Lazada or Shopee. Next slide. Drop ship marketing. Many of students also doing drop ship marketing or become a drop shipper. This is the, the, the way that many of us doing drop shipping marketing. Okay? Where you can see uh, you are the seller, okay, and how you want to ensure that when you do drop ship marketing, you can reach your customer. So your job uh, start when you communicate with your customer when they place uh, the order on your website, okay, and the customer pay you, then you can identify the order place, okay by the customer and the, and the distributor in community and give you a wholesale price and you at the seller or the dropshipper will automatically do your job to deliver the order to your customer. So this is the process of doing dropship marketing. Okay? So you are responsible for customer support you need to communicate with your customer to support your customer if they want to ask about the product information if they want to ask about the price if they want to talk about anything about the product features product characteristics anything about the testimonial the feedback you are the, the person uh, to do this kind of job right next uh, continue. Okay, so normally, uh, you need to find a company when you start doing this dropship marketing. Okay, there are many dropshipping services in Malaysia. Okay, just Google it and you can find many of the company, the distributor, the wholesaler offer you with this kind of dropship marketing service. Okay, so go to their website and register. To the dropship program and normally you have access to the photos description and the price of the product once you register as drop shipper okay. next uh, this is how you open your platform once you register as a drop shipper okay in this topic uh, the, the the slide is actually introduce you to the platform and then explaining about the process and in explaining about the process they also giving you the information about the steps how to do how to register after you register what's next what are your actions so all the steps will be given to you in this slide right until you know how to do it then you can also get some of the learning materials okay if you ask me madam did you uh, also doing this dropship marketing frankly speaking no i did not doing this dropship marketing at all but i have uh, some of my family members because uh, i i commit with my work with them i don't have enough time but i still have a uh, kind of uh, business experience 
uh, with other methods. But uh, my family members, many of them are doing this uh, dropship marketing, and many of them get their extra income doing this dropship marketing. So normally, students are uh, doing this dropship marketing to get some extra income, get extra money. So you can go through the, to these learning materials. Uh, we have to provide you with uh, very good uh, learning materials uh, in YouTube video on how to start as a dropshipper. Right? Any questions? You can unmute your mic if you have any questions before we proceed. Ada soalan tak? Kecuali sendiri je saya cakap ni. Any questions, or you can just write down in the chat box if you are so shy to ask questions. So, Alan, do you have any questions? How many of us now? It's other 60, 60 participants now. Okay, I continue. Is it okay? I continue. Okay. Yeah, saya takut awak tidur je pagi-pagi ni <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you are not sleep okay Alright, I continue After you go, uh, we have uh, to start with the website And then to become a dropship Or a dropshipper And uh, a dropship marketing And then we want to give you some exposure About the marketplace in digital commerce Okay What is market? It's similar with the normal environment when uh, we have uh, before PKP or MCO, where you go and deliver the product, we call it COD, okay? Or maybe you open a stall or you open your kiosk and then you sell your products. Uh, this is the market piece, okay? Who you want to sell to, to your target customer? Okay, your target customer uh, definitely to the people, to the customer, to the human, okay? And this is what we call as customer market. And many, and some of the seller or business uh, man or entrepreneur, they also sell to the business market, to the organization, to the companies, okay? So this is what we call as business market. But in virtual, okay, platform, or we call it e-commerce platform, you also have a, a marketplace, okay? A marketplace is a type of e-commerce platform provided by a third party for business owners. So in this e-commerce platform, uh, to, to, to sell your product in a marketplace, we are using third party for business owners. Okay? Business owners can use the, use the facility facilities such as catalog, shopping cart, payment gateway, inventory, and invoice system. So once you start doing e-commerce platform, you are engaging with third-party business owner to use this kind of facilities. Okay. So when you start, you can get uh, many of us when they start the business, uh, in e-commerce platform, definitely they have a certain uh, options here, a catalog option, shopping cart, payment gateway, some of the inventory system or invoice system. So this is the normal service provider and they also some uh, charge charges, okay, based on the commissions, right? All right, so in e-commerce platform, Types of marketplace, okay. For example, uh, we have here Alibaba.com. This is a category for business to business marketplace. Okay. In e commerce platform, example is Alibaba.com, Amazon Business, IndiaMart.com. And what are the characteristics? What are the features? Number one, they connect. Thing, they connect business owner to this e-commerce platform. Accept bulk orders, okay? Many orders, not only one, but many thousands of orders at one time. 
quantity of discounts. Okay, normally when you engage with this uh, kind of business to business market, please they provide you a lot of uh, quantity discount because you buy in bulk orders. Okay, and you also we involve with quotation and request for quotation RFQ we call it. Okay. Definitely you will ask many of uh quotations or so that you can play around with the price and you can know which one is the best uh suppliers for your orders ability to accept different types of payments so you have many options to accept different types of payment next types of marketplace is business to consumer like lazada.com.my Street, Amazon.com or Shopee. This is business to consumer. It's not consumer to consumer. It's still business to consumer. Because we have website platform. So most famous type of model. Okay. And this business to commerce, eh, sorry, consumer or B2C is very popular in nature. Many young entrepreneurs doing this kind of uh, business and they engage with this e-commerce platform and they are under category of B2C marketplace. Okay. And we can connect business order and customer directly. And customer can browse and look for design product. And it is a very competitive when you engage in this type of market. Other than that, oh sorry, uh, Shopee is under C to C. I forgot that. Okay, I missed that one. So, uh, the next category is consumer to consumer. We have three categories: B to B, business to business; B to C, business to consumer; and the third one is C to C, consumer to consumer. C to C. For example, eBay, Shopee, Carousel. So. You connect seller and buyer with the same interest. You cater to options. Okay, maybe, uh, may maybe some of you want to look at the options or bid the price. And platform serve as a mediator between the clients. Okay, so many of us, okay, definitely we also love to, to do this C to C marketplace. Okay? Less rules and regulations. Compared to B2C, compared to B2B, right? Because B2B, definitely we have uh, to, to, we need to uh, follow the requirement in the contracts. Uh, it's similar with the B2C, but for C2C, normally they, they, they use up some of the contract agreement or some of the requirement. Next one. Okay, this is uh, the learning materials again. Where some of you want to start, or definitely you already start because you are doing the sales report for individual assignments. You already, maybe, maybe some of you already have your own Shopee account. Okay, this is how to register as a Shopee seller and how to set up your store product. There are two videos here that you can see and watch by yourself. Okay, next, uh, we go to the third part in this slide, and this is the last one, payment gateway. Definitely, when you do e-commerce platform, uh, the most important thing is payment. Okay? When, the, when the customer place the order, you get the order, communicate with the wholesaler, the distributor to, to, to deliver the order. And of course, you are waiting for the payment. And how we can ensure that the money can reach us? We use payment gateway. And in Malaysia, these are some of examples payment gateway that we use in our e-commerce platform. Okay. So these are the meaning of what is payment gateway. Payment gateway refers to the front end technology that reads cards, sends customer information to the merchant acquiring bank for processing. Uh, when you buy product, Shopee, 
Lazada, you always uh, see that after add card and you need to process for the payment, do you need to choose certain types of payment gallery? And normally we use online banking, right? So this is how we end our order when you successfully made a payment through payment gallery. A software that facilitates a transaction by communicating transaction information and in this sense of the word applies to the equivalent of the physical point of sale that is located in retail hours. So uh, normally we use online banking like CIMB, Bank Bank and many RBH, many online bank bankings that involve with this kind of payment journey. All the information, uh, especially when you want to start to pay through online banking, you need to provide uh, your username or your password. Okay, even though it's very, uh, it's it's a secrecy, but uh, the in the the bank institutions will provide a uh, very safety. Okay, it's it's, it's not hundred percent safe, okay? but they are trying to secure your. Uh, your your privacy or your personal information, especially the password. Okay? And for the credit card, credit card also you need to provide your credit card number, your name, your expiry dates, and then your CVC number at the back of the card to start with the payment. So all this is a uh, very important uh, information and it's very secrecy. So we need to provide a uh, software that facilitate this kind of transaction information. A payment gateway authorizes the payment by credit cards for online retailers, big and click store, traditional store, and for e-commerce venture. Right? So the payment gateway protects the details on the credit card by encrypting the sensitive information in rules. This process ensures that personal private details are securely between customer and merchant. This is what I mean. So, okay, these are some of the payment gateway pro providers okay, that we normally use in our e commerce platform. Okay, you can take a look at this uh, diagram or table and some of the setup fees we also provide you set up fees here you can make a comparison between this type of uh, payment gateway and many of us are looking for free so it's up to you look at the the, the budget okay so the right payment gateway provider and payment option can provide your business to the competitive pitch so this is the e-commerce flow in the payment gateway. Okay, we have online buyers here. Okay. They make a purchase and they use uh, this travel portal, which is like a website or, uh, or what we call this uh, e-commerce platform and make a payment. And once you make a payment, uh, payment gateway will seeking approval or financial institutions and once they make approval they give the payment status whether it is success or not and then once it's success the order is fulfilled right. right so this is the history about our ip88 or mobile internet that we use in malaysia founded in april 2000 uh, for mobile Okay, it's obtained by MSC, Super Founder Status in 2003, and founded IP88 in the year 2006. So, mobile88.com is uh, the previous or the pioneer one, and then continue with IP88 in the year 2006, and then it obtained the MSC status in 2007. So, IP88 notified under System Payment Act. 2003 by Ben in 2007, so it's very secure. So, what is IP88? It's online payment service. Why all this kind of information be given to you? Maybe, maybe, maybe this information is very 
important for your midterm exam. Uh, I will discuss about the midterm exam after my lecture, okay? Uh, but all the slides information is very information is very important for you guys to understand and to read everything to read through because the information is very important for answering the exam on the class. Okay. How I pay the ad help merchants on regional e-commerce. Uh, these are the informations uh, to understand why we use IP in Malaysia. Okay. Especially IP get support local payment options. So that's why when you see that many of e-commerce platforms use IP. So that's all for my slide. It's very short one. Uh, talking about project management for the 